Today we are at City Football Academy, home of Manchester City Football Club, where we'll be joined by participants from William Hume High School, as well as Manchester City first team players and us, the citizens, giving young leaders. Today we have a communication, leadership and teamwork task for all to take part in to highlight the message of female empowerment on our City Girls project. Our first task is about communication. Our project is about connecting communities. This game is about communicating as a team. So the game was all about communication, so we got them working in four teams and they had to dribble the ball out and find different pairs of players. Um, but a big part of it was that they couldn't see the cards, so they had to come back, tell their teammates where the cards were, so that you had to work together to, to get all of their pairs. Um, so a big part of what we do is around that communication and working together and how they integrate and communicate with others in their team. Our next task is about leadership. Leadership and improved confidence are skills important to us and our participants on the Citizens Giving Project. Today's game was about leadership and trying to get the, the girls and the players to think about what a leadership quality is, what our desirable qualities are when you're taking part in a team sport, but also the wider picture because leadership qualities are just used throughout life. So we got them to design a five-a-side team with um, leadership qualities as the focus. So forgetting the player's skills and abilities, thinking about what they would put in a five-a-side team, why they would put them in the positions that they did and then presenting back to the group. The players had great integration into it so it was brilliant and showed the qualities that we teach to our girls when we're doing our assistance giving projects. Our next task is about teamwork. We use teamwork on our projects to create a friendly, inclusive environment. This challenge is about who works best as a team. So the task was based around teamwork and working on that, uh, they had to be in a circle, holding hands to keep a balloon up in the air, which is difficult enough, but then we added in the mix and they had to travel around the room to collect a cone. Uh, one person could break the circle to collect the cone and take it back to the corner um, and they had to do that about 10 times to be able to collect as many cones as possible. So the key skills of the game were to develop teamwork skills, develop communication, um, supporting each other as a team and making sure they're doing all of those things so that they are effective as a team. I'm definitely proud to play for a club that takes its community work so seriously. It's always you know, a pleasure to be involved in it as well and meeting everyone and meeting local Mancunians and um, getting involved in the school involvement and being around good people and seeing what the club does. I think it's really important obviously to keep growing the game and the women's um, side of things, um, obviously helping them develop their confidence and like, just the social side of things really as a, as a young athlete. Citizens Giving is back. Vote now.